In this tutorial, you will learn how and where to declare the investment proof declaration, where to view the income tax computation, and how to download Form 15R. Once you log in to the ESS portal, on the home page or dashboard itself, you will able to see the tax planning, where you have options to declare your investment declarations as well as to check your tax calculations for the current financial year. To declare the investment declarations, you can able to see the sections here, respective sections like HRA, Chapter 6A, Section 10, Other Income and Losses, Previous Employment. If you want to declare house rent, you can click on this house rent. Here, for the entire financial year, month-wise from April to March, you have to update the monthly rental amount. And if your monthly rent amount is exceeding 8,333 months, then you have to declare either landlord's PAN card or declaration form. You can choose the respective one then update the details. Under E section, you will able to see three columns, Planner, Actual and Approved. Normally, your company will ask you to update the investment declarations with the financial year starting under the Planner column at the financial year ending at the Actual column. Whenever they open for the same, you will have an option to enter the amount. And this Approved column will entered by the concerned person who validate the bill from the admin login then you will able to waive the approved amount for the final tax calculation this approved will be considered till then whatever you have updated under planner that will be considered for your tax calculations and if you want to upload the bills you can use this attachment icon you have to click on this attach file you have to browse the file open and upload once enter all the details you have to click on save once saved you will see the message successfully saved next Chapter 6A. Under this section, you will able to see all ATC, ATD, ATE deductions here. Based on the respective section, you can update the limit here amount. ATC, you will able to view ATD. Under ATD, medical insurance, if you are self medical insurance policy, then you have to update under the ATD medical insurance self. If medical insurance policy covers your dependents, your parents, then you have to choose this medical insurance dependent. If your parents are senior citizens, then you have to choose this ATD Medical Insurance Dependent Senior Citizen. All Chapter 6 year related sections will reflect here. You have to update accordingly. And if you are having interest on housing loan, that principal amount you have to update under this ATC Repayment on HR. Whereas the interest amount you have to update under other section under other income. So once you update here as well, then you have to save. Next is Section 10. Here the allowance components based on your company's structure will reflect medical allowance, LTA, petrol reimbursement. If your company has created such allowance components, those components will reflect here. Again, you can declare the same under planner. Then you have to save. Next, other income and losses. If you are having income from other sources apart from regular salary, that also you can update here under income from other sources on which tax will get computed. If you are having interest on housing loan, as explained earlier, the interest amount you have to update here under this other income. If it is a self-occupied property, you have to enter the amount under negative value. And if it is a let out property, after excluding the rental income, whatever the interest amount that you can enter here, then you have to save. Next, previous employment. If you have joined in this company, in between the financial year after April like in the month of June, August like that, then you can declare your previous company income details under the previous employment. Here you can enter the total earnings after exemptions before professional tax. And here whatever the income tax deducted in your previous company that you have to update and the professional tax deducted in your previous company and then you have to save. This also will be considered for tax computation. Once you declare all investment declarations, you can check the tax computation by clicking on this my taxes for the year. Here it will show you the tax calculations for the entire financial year, the total earnings, exemptions, after exemptions, whatever the total taxable income that will reflect here. If there is any tax on total income, you will be able to see the same under this tax on total income and finally whatever is reflecting under tax for the month 
that that much income tax will get deducted every month below this computation also you can check the hra exemption calculations among this whichever is minimum that will be considered for hra exemption here this is about tax computation on all other tax related reports you will able to view under this a reports option under this menu icon if you want to download tax working sheet you can click on this download will get the pdf document here you can choose for which financial year you want to download the tax working sheet based on the financial year that will get downloaded next is year to date salary if you want to check for the entire financial year what is your salary has been paid then you have to click on this year to date you will get an excel sheet computation till whichever month is paid it will show here once completes the financial year from april to march you will able to view in this year to date report next form 16 part a and part b once your company uploaded and generates this form 16 then you will able to view the same under this form 16 part a and part b this is about income tax calculations and how to and where to declare the investment declarations Thank you for watching this video.